Hey guys, welcome back <laughs> to my channel. Right. What a very interesting start of the mm -hmm. vlog with Steph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like 9.30, 9.30 probably in the morning on a Friday mm -hmm. because Stephanie got me on my bed Indeed. to record this video. Indeed. So we are recording we're her. we're dedicated content creators, <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. We're recording her doing my twist out. I did her wash and go on her channel. So, ooh. Make sure you guys check it out. Oh, you saw the, she did that thing. shake was nice. Mm -hmm. So, I'll put the links to my video and her video down below and on the screen. I can check them out. But this is a weekend vlog because we have a lot. We outside, y'all. A lot planned this weekend. It's October. It's my birthday month. This weekend, we're going to go see Burna Boy tonight. It's Friday, mm -hmm. October 6th, 7th. 7th. Today's 7th. Yeah. We're gonna go see Burner Boy tonight, and then tomorrow we're gonna go see Dexter Daps. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have like some family stuff, baby, godchildren's birthday. So I'm outside this whole weekend, and it's against really who I'm as a person, but we're doing it. <laughs> we're Listen, doing it. it's your birthday month. This is what the twists are looking like. So if y'all wanna see how this twist out turned out, or it turns out, make sure you tune into the video. All right, y'all, Stephanie finished my hair. She left to a nail appointment. It's 12 o'clock. I have to find an outfit for the Burna Boy concert. I need to order a gender reveal cake for one of my bestest, bestest friends. That's the to-do list. So I'm just gonna get dressed, eat some oatmeal, and head out to the mall. All right, y'all, this is what I landed on. Um, I'm at Nordstrom, and these are on the sale rack. And I think this is really cute. And I want something that I could dance in. You know, shake a little something and not be constricted. So I think it's really cute. It's definitely giving festival type of vibes. time last night I don't even know what is on this vlog camera because the past two days <clears throat> that was actually all in one day Stephanie did my hair yesterday and I went to a concert the same day crazy so the past day because the vlog started yesterday I don't even know what I recorded or didn't record I tried to do a little behind the scenes of me getting ready I made like a little get ready with me TikTok. I felt so cute in my little all white fit. I tried to record like us cheersing at my house before we left. I think I didn't even push record properly. <laughs> but anyways, we had a blast. And Burner Boy, let me tell you something. Amazing performance. It was a dance hall artist there named TJ. I was really happy. I got to see him. Oh, man. Of time so now it is saturday the 8th and my god baby's birthday is at a trampoline park today so i'm gonna go to that <clears throat> voice is halfway gone i want to go to that around one and then dexter Depps is tonight it's only from four to ten which i think is a great like 10 p.m is a great cutoff time i'm not trying to be there to 1, 2, 3 a.m. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to Dexter Dabs. Because one thing about me, I'm going to sing my heart out to some Dexter Dabs. Right. 
tired really isn't the word. I just feel like, wow, this is so much for one weekend. So much for one weekend. But I'm going to try to find a fit in my closet for tonight and figure that out. And get some rest while I can because... I'm back to life. Y'all last saw me on Sunday morning. I was who out of it, hungover, tired, all of the above. Um, and Sunday was a very busy day, but then yesterday I just rested. Like I'm talking about, I woke up, did a little bit of emailing, a little bit of like planning, relaxed. And then I saw some clients in the afternoon. So like I took it mad easy yesterday. Today definitely feels like a Monday to me, even though today is Tuesday, because I just woke up, worked from I opened up my eyes pretty much. Um, I filmed, I filmed the results. This is the twist out that Stephanie did on my hair. So filmed the, fin the final results of that. Super cute. She ate. Um, and then I filmed some other stuff. I'm gonna get ready with me. Do some TikToks. Um, I had an interview today. Craziness. Like it's so much going on. And it's only like one o'clock. So but I feel back to myself. This weekend was so good, you guys. Like, I'm so glad that I got in my comfort zone and that I just, like, experienced Carnival Weekend. It's I have never really done Carnival Weekend before. I didn't go to actual Carnival, but I did the Tipsy Music Fest where Burner Boy was the headliner on Friday night. And then Saturday, I went to Dexter Daps. That concert, boy, when he, I tell you he put on a show, I already love his music, but the performance like made me love his music like 10 times more. So excellent performance, excellent show. The show is from 4 to 10. That was the time that was on the ticket, okay? <laughs> I got there around 7, thinking he'll come out like 9, 8.30 hopefully. This man came out at 10 o'clock. The show supposed to end at 10. He came out at 10 like sir sir but he performed his ass off it was such a good show and then sunday was a busy day so monday i was happy to just kind of like take it easy and today i just been kind of like on go trying to get some stuff done because i do go on my birthday trip in about 10 days or less actually a week i leave in a week on my birthday trip which everything just is happening so fast october is going by like that i can't believe i'm about to be 30 like that like it's crazy so the birthday trip is planned it's gonna be a blast it's gonna be different i did spend a lot more than i thought i was gonna spend um but no regrets <laughs> no regrets okay november comes i'll save my money in november but october we going up we doing it up you know we we living it up october but november i'll be back inside the house hopefully and i'll be saving my money because girl who what day is it today is october 12th i turned 30 on october 21st so it's time to start getting ready. And I got mad things to do. I get my hair done, gotta get my nails done, I gotta pack, I gotta wax. I think that's it. That's the gist of it, you know? Make sure my life is in order before I leave. But usually when I leave on a trip, my life is not in order, but that's okay. We move. Um, yeah, it's a big 30. It's big 30, like, wow. And I also wanted to show you guys my new luggage. So I got some luggage from a brand called July and I wanted to unbox it with you guys. And we're also gonna pack it together for the trip. I'm going to Cartagena, Colombia. I'm so excited. It's like a family trip. It's my mom, my sister, and one of my very close friends. It's gonna be a vibe. It's gonna be a vibe. I pretty much planned the whole thing. Um, I picked the Airbnb, you know, everything. Like, and I kind of went a little crazy. Um, but it's the big 30. We had to do something, you know what I'm saying? And my friend that's coming, her birthday is the day that we actually land in Colombia. So last year, me and her went to Puerto Rico for our birthdays. And this year, we're going to be in Colombia. So I'm so excited. You guys know, if you've been like following on other platforms, I love traveling. I'm really getting deeper and deeper into my travel bag. I just feel so happy. <laughs> 
I've been to Jamaica twice this year and I'm gonna go back in November for my cousin's birthday. She turns 25. It's like a big um, group trip. We're gonna go to Ochi and just experience Jamaica or, again, cause I mean like who doesn't love Jamaica? And I'm Jamaican, my cousin's Jamaican too, obviously. So we're gonna just be out there. Um, but yeah, October is here, fall is here, and we're preparing for this Columbia trip. I already have what I'm wearing. I already know what the deal is. Like, one thing about me, I'm gonna plan the fits, because I don't like to overpack. So we have like two fits per day, like a casual walking around outside fit. Then we have like the picture slash going out fit you know what i'm saying and then i have like one pajamas and like one lounge fit because i'm only going to be there for four nights in five days i don't need that much stuff you know what i'm saying so let me go ahead and show y'all this fire luggage that i got because i'm excited <laughs> all right so here it is it is a carry-on because i am a carry-on girl oh look at the color and I love that it comes in like a little carrying bag, so I'll be able to just store it in my closet safely. Let me know if you guys check bags. I'm definitely not the check bag type of person. I'm gonna make it fit. And everything I'm bringing can definitely fit in this bag, especially for a four night, five day trip. It comes with a charger like right here so I can charge my phone and whatever else you just stick it down oh this is so cool and then it also has this um, lock and then it has the TSA lock if they need to open it because you know they have to be able to have access um, yes ma'am and July did send this to me but this video is not sponsored. Okay. And it has a laundry bag. Period. Period. We all need laundry bags when we travel. I usually just like use the plastic bags at the Airbnbs or at the hotels to put my dirty clothes in. But this is extremely convenient. Good morning. Well, it's not morning. It is 12 o'clock. Um, <laughs> it's Friday, October 14th, which means that my birthday is in seven days exactly. Um, and on Tuesday I'll be in Colombia, which is crazy because time is flying. It's 12 o'clock. I had a lot of things to do on my to-do list that I have not touched today. Like I'm talking about, I've been sitting here basically just thinking and planning and like emailing or whatever but not actually doing any of the things that are on my to-do list so I just put some clothes on and we're gonna leave the house because I cannot let the day go by without getting at least like half of these things done I'm gonna go to Target and um, get my eyebrows done those two things should not take me a long time the nails take a long time so I might need to postpone that and I want to go to the hair store to get some hair because I'm going to get my hair done. Um, and my mom is going to get her hair done too by the same girl, Kiana. Hair by Kiana Denise. She's fire. Um, so, whew. The week before a trip is always hectic. And it's Friday. I have plenty of time to get the thing I need to get done. But wow. These are my favorite feminine wipes, especially for travel. I woke up, had some tea, and there's a nail salon nearby that I like. So I'm gonna go to that nail salon, quickly get my get a pedicure, manicure, get that out the way. Um, last night, me and my mom, we went to the hair store to get hair for her hair and my hair. Um, I have an appointment tomorrow, and her appointment is on Monday. It's Saturday. Um, my hair looks insane like wow but we are going to get through <laughs> hi guys I hate my nails <laughs> I don't hate them I don't love them 
and I mentioned last vlog that I found my perfect forever nail shop and that was near my house um, but I didn't want to drive all the way up there because it's gonna be a long wait and it's gonna be busy it's the weekend so still was the morning and I was at my mom's house there is a nail salon that I liked you know uh, it wasn't as good as one that I found but it's like I've been there before but I've never had this person do my nails and it was a guy and he was just <sighs> terrible and then I'm like he was like hurting me and I'm like okay I kept saying like oh it hurts can you please be gentle oh it hurts ouch can you please uh... and he was like okay okay did not change the freaking pressure like he did but like he went back to what he was doing before so he was like slow slow off the pressure blah 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 anyways I got white I was gonna get a design and then when he did my toes I said you know what it's not giving I want to get a design by this man so <sighs> these are my nails it's not terrible and you probably can't even see it too clear um, but it could be a lot better and I'm used to them being a lot like neater and just cleaner then the place that I go to they don't use like an electrical drill they just use like you know whatever can't describe it. I'm not a freaking expert but like they don't use a drill and they do like natural nails these are my natural nails and he was using the drill to take off the gel polish I was like, okay fine they soak it off usually where I go to so he used the drill I'm like whatever it'll be faster anyway it's not gonna kill me so the nails have thinned down so much and I'm not the person like I don't really even care about my nails like that like I really don't really care that much but it was more like you see how I get them just basic whatever but it's like you drilling my nails down to the point where they're gonna break like in a week so if you drill them down to that, that thin and then I go on a trip where I do I live my life lift some weights bitch oh my gosh lift weights whatever what's gonna happen to my nails they're gonna break quick because they're thin as hell you know what I'm saying so I was telling him like don't drill it blah, blah, blah. it's like I'm talking to a wall bro and then like there was some like polish on my skin like on the skin next to my nail like you know right on the side and he was gonna leave that shit right there I'm like sir can you please file off this polish off of my skin like and I'm not even the complaining person. I'm just like, you're making me out to be this complaining, like, nitpicker. Like, no. There's no reason why there's polish on my skin if I'm paying for a sir. So, terrible experience. I learned my lesson. I'm never not, I'm never not going to where I like to go to my house ever again. And my plan was to go on Monday. Because Monday, you know, we like the Monday morning. I mean, nobody would be there. But I was like, you know, I don't want to push everything until the last minute. So I said, you know what? Can I leave on Tuesday? I said, I'm down here. I just go to somebody I know down here. Terrible decision. And I could have waited for his wife because his wife, she be, she be killing the shit. But she had like mad people waiting for her, which because she's good. So anyway, I'm going to get some patties. Um, I love this patty place. And if you're down south, Miami, it's called Tasty's Patties. It's um fire fire and it's like um tasty like uh t-a-s-t-e-e -E. fire so i'm gonna go in there and get some patties <sighs> this pissed me off so bad that's the patty place is fire all right so we are home the shower is getting hot i'm gonna wash my hair hi guys i'm in bed now i literally rinsed my hair kept it in the twist and i put on my for my kinks microfiber towel i'll leave it linked down below when i say i'm tired and i slept for like three hours at my mom's house it feels like i've been ripping and running all day like it really feels like that so i'm gonna sleep and then tomorrow I'll do some more random things but all this rambling to say Thanks for keeping up with me. I will see y'all in the morning, I guess. I'm so tired. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is 8.30. And I'm very proud that I washed my face, put on my sunscreen, threw this scarf and this dress on, and I'm out the house. So I got some eucalyptus tea for these sinuses because, baby. So I'm going to pick up some hair. The place opens at 9, and it's like 20 minutes away, so... Maybe I'll stop and get some breakfast. I don't know, but I'm at the house. So my stylist is coming at 1 instead of 12. So I took the opportunity to take a nap. 
So now we're feeling great. Not great at all, but we're feeling a little more rested. Now it's finally time to blow dry my hair. And finally time to try out the Rev Air bars. So I just put one pump of the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer on. I was telling my friend that I feel so out of it and she was like, well, <laughs> you had like a crazy busy weekend last week. And it's like, yeah, I had a busy weekend last week, but like, damn, like I have to be this tired? Like not me taking naps two days in a row when I have somewhere to go. So I'm just gonna wake up the face a little bit so I can film my Rev Air review and test it out. Um, this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. At this rate, like I'll be just finishing when she's pulling up. Spray my face down with the Urban Decay. And that's the face. Um, so I don't look half asleep. And then we're gonna use a little bit of this Laneige lip mask. And we're good. We're hydrated, moisturized, awake. Um, my hair is probably like 85% dry. So, and it's nice and soft and fluffy. So let's go set up to try out this Rev Air. Hey guys, it is like 10.30 and kiana just left i didn't get no footage of her here but i felt like she was just braiding my hair i don't know and i also was just <laughs> zoned out but i'm in love with my hair very boho giving very much mermaid i'm so excited um i got the hair longer than i should have the hair is touching my booty like resting on the booty and I'm 5'7", versus like it resting on like my waist. So like I definitely got the hair a little bit too long. So she was braiding it for way longer than we both thought. But we finished. Well, she finished. I was watching Daredevil. It looks so good. It looks so good. I'm tired as hell, as if I've been working, but I'm tired. I'm about to go to bed. Tomorrow she's gonna do my mom's hair and then I need to pack because I have everything that I'm wearing like in a section of my room but I haven't packed it yet so I need to like roll things up, pack them. But that's pretty much everything. We did the hair, we did the nails. I just need to pack so that's tomorrow. Good morning guys. Um, I just been trying to pack. Been trying on clothes right here. Trying on clothes, trying to pack. Um, I pretty much know everything I'm bringing right now. I am also just organizing my suitcase. I got my travel cubes together. The, the background is a mess because I left everything up that the girl left to do my hair last night because today she's coming back to do my mom's hair. So we're leaving the table and all the crap around. But I'm packing my suitcase. I'm also recording me packing my suitcase. But I wanted to, you know, hop on the vlog because it's different perspectives <laughs> i'm recording for tiktok and instagram so i got my camera right there as you guys can see and then down here we have this suitcase so i'm about to film the part of me putting like my underwear and bathing suits i'm bringing three bathing suits only um a five day trip four night trip so i'm not gonna need that many bathing suits three is more than enough so i have these three right here then i have some underwear so a bandeau top I'm gonna put all of this intentionally. I'm trying to put all of these things, roll it up and put it into here. So let's see if it fits and if not, you know, we'll figure that out. But, but check out my TikTok and my Instagram to watch the packing sequence aesthetically. <laughs> so this is my toiletry bag. I got this from Drunk Elephant and I've been taking it with me also everywhere because it fits so much stuff. It has a nice height to it. I can layer stuff on top. It's just perfect. So. I pretty much put everything I'm gonna need in terms of skincare and makeup and a little bit of hair care, but like some edge control, like ain't no hair care happening. Cause y'all see the boho braids popping. So 
enough talking what the heck all right y'all so i'm gonna end the vlog here after i washed my makeup brushes i just kind of kept on putting little things like camera stuff purses like small things that i didn't think of in my luggage and i'm pretty much ready pretty much ready i'm so excited so i wanted to close the vlog out and tomorrow morning i'm gonna start over the next vlog which will be my 30th birthday columbia trip and i'm so excited so thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to stay tuned for the next vlog and some other content because i have like five videos to edit i'm so excited mentally i'm not there yet but physically like in terms of having everything i need i'm ready can't believe i'm leaving tomorrow i feel like i'm not prepared but <laughs> Here we go. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. And in Columbia. And I'll be posting more updates, like, frequently on my Instagram. So check me out over there and TikTok. All right. Bye, for real. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you set my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. For you every time I try to resist you You can't get away Palm trees, beach views, ordinary day All I wanna hear is in the business of replay